Oh, God. I didn't know what to do last night. I wore... I wore the CPAP. And, uh... I wore the CPAP and had two and a half hours of sleep. Um... I'm in so much pain, sinus pain. I feel like I'm almost losing my mind. I don't know when I took the CPAP off. I wore the CPAP most of the night. And then tried for hours to fall asleep without the CPAP couldn't. My nervous system is shaking like a leaf inside. I'm in so much pain with the sinuses and teeth and head, my brain. I feel like I'm almost losing my mind. So, my sinuses, just severe pain from, from what the surgeon did to me. Severe dried out pain. Severe pain from the CPAP blasting air into my sinuses all night. My nervous system shaking like a leaf. I don't understand any of this. I think... Uh, so I've laid here for three... Seven hours trying to fall asleep again. Two and a half, two and a half hours of sleep. I'm in so much pain here, and and I can't go on like this. And I'm surprised how I'm having trouble breathing. It's like a huge pocket of air trapped in. I've, I've been doing this five years. Five years on CPAP. Year, f 15 years fighting for help. With the apnea. 15 years begging, begging for my life. It's 2.30 in the afternoon, and I'm almost out of my mind in pain here. So, I guess I can't wear the CPAP. I have severe apnea, and I guess I can't wear the CPAP. I don't, I don't sleep with it on. I don't get deep sleep. I don't get REM sleep. I don't get restorative sleep. The night before, I slept without the CPAP, which is a, uh, like a literal, you know, it's dangerous. It's a threat to my life to sleep without CPAP. I had three and a half, maybe close to four hours of sleep yesterday I felt like Superman because I actually had some quality sleep from not using the CPAP sinuses from what this surgeon did to my sinuses just excruciating pain like I feel like I'm half out of my mind right now like I literally feel like I'm out of my mind there's, Jesus, 
I need reconstructive surgery. I don't have the money to fly around the country and hotels and fly to another country for or another province. There's no there's there's no way out. Is that the deal? There's no way out. I can't wear CPAP. I've, I've got severe sleep apnea. I can't wear CPAP. Like, why isn't there any help? I've had two doctors walk in after a sleep study. Oh, hey, great news. You had six and a half hours of sleep. No, I didn't. What do you, what do you mean? I did, I did not have six and a half hours of sleep. I had I slept four hours. Well, what do you mean? You slept six and a half hours? No, I didn't. They're like, what do you mean? And and I said, how many minutes did I sleep? And they're like, uh, they said, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, well, 60 and 60 is 120 minutes. 120 and 120 is 240, 240 minutes. What you're telling me doesn't add up. And they're standing there. And they go, oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, well, you can't tell someone they're sleeping 30% more than they're actually sleeping. You can't send someone home and then tell everybody they're sleeping 30% 30% more than they're actually sleeping. 30% is a huge difference. And they're like, oh, yeah, oh, like how how are these mistakes being made? It's like simple math. Two different doctors did that with me. Like if you're sleeping, you know, if you sleep four hours and you and you're telling everybody, oh yeah, well she slept six six hours, six and a half hours. No, she didn't. That's a huge mistake. Thirty percent. Normally I sleep three hours a night. I can't go on like this. I can't go on like this.